Hey you guys, welcome to Film Taku. Uh, going to be making my first video and tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a barrier shield or an energy shield, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, I'm basing this off of uh, Reinhardt's barrier shield from Overwatch. Whether you want to use it to block bullets for your friends or if you want to put someone in quarantine on a sci-fi ship, the world is your oyster. Let's get started. So first, I want to make a composition here. I'm going to call this pattern. All right, and then now we're gonna wanna make our hexagon pattern. It has to be hexagons, otherwise it wouldn't be futuristic. If it's not hexagons, it can't be in sci-fi movies. You, you, you'll see triangles and hexagons, but you won't ever see that in any other genre. Let's see, let's make this into a repeater. There we go. Let's go into transform, wait, not transform, for polystar, repeater. There we go. Use motion, I'm gonna switch the anchor point using the motion plugin. It's really easy that way. Just gonna move it right here. So actually that's pretty good space. I was gonna change the position, but never mind. So let's make it long enough for it to fill up that whole spot. Here's the easy part now. I'm just gonna control C and control V that. We're gonna change the position a little bit. There we go, that's good enough. I'm gonna copy these. Also gonna change the position here. Just lower these down. There we go. Now this will go even faster because we're just gonna keep duplicating all the ones that we made. There we go, looks pretty good. All right, now we wanna add an adjustment layer on top of all of the shape layers. I'm gonna add a glow effect to it. We're gonna change the glow effect uh, to alpha channel. Gonna give it a little bit extra detail. It has kind of like an outline hexagon now. I'm gonna bring the threshold down to 54 ish. I don't know, just type it in. And make this also 54. And then what I like to do is we're gonna add a glow, some glow, wiggle expression on the glow intensity to give it a little bit of a glitch effect to it. See how that looks. Yeah, not too fast or anything. We'll just stick with that for now. All right, and now we're gonna wanna make a 
another composition. We're gonna call these beams. And this is going to be the uh, the energy beams that you'll see going protruding to go uh, protruding from the middle, uh, going outwards towards the left and right. So we're gonna make a white solid. I'm gonna change the scale to make it skinny. Do a little bit bigger. Duplicate that one. Have the meat there. That looks good. Let's see. So now uh, what we want to do is we want to keyframe the positions uh, and have this one go out to the right. Let's make it take a little bit. Like We'll do about three seconds. It's good. Wrong way. There we go. And do the same thing with the other one. Still doing the same thing. There we go, that's what we want. And then we're gonna add a fast blur to this. give it a little bit more of a gradual look rather than it being just a solid rectangle. So at 900. Copy paste that to this one. All right, that's what we want. And then let's cut this down to uh, the actual three seconds that we have to look at the entire 20 seconds. And then we're going to make another composition. And we're going to call this shield. I'm going to bring the pattern and we're going to bring the beam pre comp in. And then let's change the mode to stencil luma and then we're going to duplicate the beam until it fills up the entire duration there we go And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, I'm going to need two separate layers for the shield. Uh, so the beam uh, that has the, or the energy beams right now are going to be its kind of its own layer. Uh, and it's going to be on top of the regular pattern. But this way we can have the transparency and the beams at the same time. And by doing this, we're going to make, we're going to make again another composition. And we'll call this... Uh, complete shield I'm gonna bring in the shield pattern or pre-comp and the pattern and we're gonna do a rounded mask and we're gonna do another mask after this so don't do it too small. So about there's going to be good. And we're going to feather this. Gives a little bit more of a gradual look. And we're going to do subtract. So this way we have that middle window for uh, the person holding the shield so they can see where they're going and the people shooting behind them or behind the wall. All right, 
right, now let's make another composition. All right, let's make another composition. And we'll kind this Rhine barrier. This is gonna be pretty much almost done. Bring in complete shield. And we're gonna make another mask. So this is gonna be the outside. So we get that rounded rectangular look that's actually in the game. There we go, so now you can add this to almost anything you want. I don't have that very centered, but that's okay. You guys can make it as perfect as you want. Uh, but also to add a little bit more detail, uh, you can add a displacement map to make it give it a little bit more of a realistic look too. Uh, so, what you want to do is add another composition, call it Displace. Do a Fractal Noise. Almost forgot, need to add a layer to this. Solid. Doesn't matter what color it is. Throw that on there. You're gonna do blocks. No, oh, that's not what I pressed. All right, I'll just do this by hand. Oh, that's what I was going for. And then we're going to want to animate the evolution. Just something that is noticeable. So maybe we'll do 10 evol revolutions. It's pretty noticeable. Hopefully it's not too much. Then let's go back to the Rhyme Barrier composition. Let's add a displacement map. Oh, forgot. Got to add the displace composition below it. Make that invisible. I thought that did something, but maybe it doesn't. I changed the horizontal and vertical displacement to luminance, but it doesn't seem to do that much. Uh, that actually looks good the way it is. I'm gonna wrap the pixels around. So this way, you have a little bit of a waviness to it too. Uh, so now you can just kind of add this to almost whatever you want. You can motion track it to something uh, for if someone's holding a shield, or you can just put it in a scene. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I did. It's really basic. Uh, it's just kind of layering the way, uh, trying to figure out the technique to layer it. But otherwise, yeah, that's how you do that. You can bring in, the, let's bring an Overwatch picture. Now I might want to change the uh the wiggle intent the wiggle expression on the uh glow intensity I have. But other than that though it looks pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, if you want to as well, you can add a tint to it, like a solid. So I'll just add a solid there, lower, not scale, opacity. To give it a little bit more, like a solid look, so it's not as transparent. Something like that. Anyways, uh, I hope this is pretty cool to you guys. Uh, I know it's not exactly what the Reinhardt uh, shield looks like, but it's pretty close. And at least as far as like from the game, uh, from the actual gameplay, this is what it looks like. The cinematic, there's a little bit more complexity to it, and hopefully I can make a, another version of it later. But I hope this gives you a little bit, maybe this helps you out in maybe another technique you're trying to work on, or, uh, or a technique or effect. But yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, let me know in the comments below, uh, or let me know what I can work on. Uh, any of that would be appreciated. And uh, see you guys in the next video.